What is up, YouTubers? Johnsy here, and welcome. Welcome, one and all, to the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament Season 4. We've had an amazing past three seasons, and oh boy, every battle just gets more and more intense as, you know, the seasons go on. I mean, hell, like, we've made it pretty far so far. From our th three champions we have so far, Bowser, who's won his first tournament and then pretty much won the final tournament and just made a clear through to become our first season's champion. Then there was Yoshi, who had a little bit of struggle at first, but then eventually made it in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament, uh, the final one, and has won Season 2 and is Season 2's champion. And of course, Ice Climbers, of course. They were so close for not making it into the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament, but they surprisingly made a surprising victory in Season 3 and have won Season 3 and became Season 3's champion, and soon we will have Season 4's champion, and then we will have the Champions Tournament on our mints. Now, of course, we did lose some members along the way. Um, rest in peace, Link, Falcon, and Meta Knight. You, you will be missed. And, uh, at least also one character we know we won't be seeing is the leader of the Dark Forces, Darksa. I still think the Dark Forces are still going to come around, but, uh, you know, it's all good. But anyways, without further ado, let's see what the rule set is for this tournament. So, as always, it is a three-stock, four-minute battle. Final Smash Meter is off. Uh, no spirits, obviously. Um, of course, the CPUs are always level 9. Uh, random stages. Items. We have Smash Balls. We, from last season, and then bringing back from season 2, we have the assists on. So, assist trophies, and Pokeballs, and Master Balls. And uh, no stage morph. So, that is season 4's rule set. So, I will see you guys once we have selected the first competitors for the first tournament of Season 4. Alrighty, so welcome, one and all, to the first tournament of Season 4. Let's get things underway. We have a bunch of pretty interesting characters here today. Um, some of them, obviously, returning favorites. And uh, some of them, uh, pretty new, pretty new. So, um, we'll see what they're all about. So, our first match is going to be Piranha Plant versus Joker. Now, you guys also might be wondering, why does Joker look different? Well, if you guys know, Joker has went off training. The thing is, he came during the Halloween season for his new look, just to show his new look, and um, we thought it was a Hall like the Halloween Joker for uh, the Halloween dimension, but no, it was secretly Joker all that time. He didn't win the Halloween tournament, but after he returned and faced me in battle, he won. Like, after I won a tournament in the off season. He just came up and won automatically, so we'll see how, um, let's see if he's done any training in that process, just like anybody else, and see if he can keep, if he can win this tournament and make it into the final tournament this season, because as you guys know, he's had a big losing streak, and, uh, not really a great start, but he does have our Sen right now, which is really, really good for him, but, um, unfortunately, he has to make sure to grab, like, Literally, this is all about who can grab what first in this case, because there's stuff like the Smash Ball you have to smash before the other one, there's the Pokeballs you have to grab, and the assists. And this time, you, like, obviously, it's different from Season uh, 4, because obviously the uh, s final smashes are different. And Joker lost his first stock right away, but we'll see if his new personality will be able to win him the match. We'll, we'll see. Right now, um, Prime Plant in the lead, but, you know, Joker can come back. I mean, he's got Chain Chomp, you know. I mean, I thought Chain Chomp, oh, well, I don't think Chain Chomp can really help in this case, because he seems to be not being able to do his attacks thanks to the wall. Oh, and Smash Ball is in effect. Oh, and Chain Chomp was actually useful. He gave Joker the final smash. And he lands it too. And I think that's a stock for uh I think that's a stock lost for Piranha Plant right now. Both 
down to two stocks right now. Uh, the assist having it on for Joker right now, but Joker's still at a disadvantage with um, the percentages. We got some Pokeballs on stage, getting Staryu on the other side, not really helpful for uh, Joker in this case, but definitely really handy for um, Lucky Break 4 Prom Plan. But, oh, he gets Arceus and Sogaleo. This might be a turn-in event for uh, Joker right now. Oh, and Prom Plan's down to one stock. Oh, and, oh, I don't even know who has Matawetta. And that is Joker, and Joker wins the match. Two stock in Prom Plan. He's showing his new skills and potential. Like, if he keeps this up, he will definitely make it into the final tournament this season. His number one goal since season two. But I'm sorry, Prom Plan, you didn't win see like... You didn't win the first tournament like you did in Season 2, and so you're not doing it again today. But anyways, next up, we have the two uh, pretty good warriors. We have Hiro, who has made it in his first tournament, facing off against Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo took a little while to get in last season, but, you know, both of these characters have literally been introduced in the last season. And, uh, you know, both were pretty impressive. They both got in at a good, reasonable time in um, the final tournament. And uh, we'll see how uh, they settle with this new rule set. Oh, Hero is trying to get Banjo right out right away. Now, the thing is, we all know that Banjo is a part of Team Jonza right now. So, obviously, you know who I want to win. And uh, Beware is not the best to uh, have against us right now. Oh, Oh, something tells me this is all hero right now. Yeah, it is not looking good for Banjo right now. I mean, I'm gonna look at Hero's stats because he's only been technically in two tournaments in season three. So I'm gonna quickly look at that while this match is going on. And right now, still not looking so good. Hero Taking down Banjo to one stock. Banjo better get his shit together. I know he hasn't been used to this uh, rule set, but still, but neither has Hero. Hero's not used to this rule set either. Okay, we got double fire types. I don't know who's for who because I wasn't totally paying attention. Okay. Oh, and the Wonder Wayne. At least Banjo takes out a stock, but is very close to death right now. Ooh, if I were him, I'd grab that assist. Oh, that is dead. That is a dead Banjo. Banjo, I'm sorry. This is not your first tournament. I'm sorry. Oh, we still got other tournaments, buddy. Oh, ho, ho. nasty. Nasty. Not even halfway through the match. Like, I just want to see from Hero's point of view. Uh, yeah, Hero was the first one to make it in the final tournament last season. And then during season three's final tournament, he didn't even make it past uh, the first round, though. Which, you know, win-lose, win, I guess, in that situation. But that's fine, Banjo. We still have plenty of opportunities. Plus, I think Banjo does want to try to make sure to take down Dark Banjo-Kazooie so he doesn't make it in as well. And the thing is, I mean, we're kind of still... Um, the Dark Force is one to... <coughs> one up from us, but anyways, we got two new members. Terry might have been in one of the off-season tournaments, but this is his first official on-season tournament. And of course, the new one, the new member that we literally just picked off off the streets, we have Byleth, the character no one really wanted, but it was the character that was needed. So we'll see what Byleth has to offer. We've seen some skills from Terry before. But we'll see how they... Oh. Okay. But we'll see how Byleth goes up against, um... Uh, Terry. We'll see how both... How these two go through, uh, this, uh, tourney as well. Ooh. Getting a good hit right there. Uh... Oh, and Byleth grabbing the first assist trophy. Grabbing Crystal... Ooh, Crystal's a pretty good assist trophy to have. Byleth grabbing the Pokeball. It's always good to grab those uh, assists where you can. It's literally about, oh, okay, everyone's going away. And Terry is already down a stock. 
Violet's already showing great potential to start off. Ooh, but that was some nice moves by uh, Terry right there. Ooh! But the lag of try getting the assist trophy out was Byleth's downfall. But at least Byleth did get the assist trophy though, so that was pretty handy for him. A stock for an assist trophy, I mean, sometimes that's a good trade, sometimes it's a bad one. Ooh, a nice uh, parry from Terry. A nice parry from Terry. Ooh, that was a nice hit. And again, another assist trophy. We have Gary Fox. I think that's his name, Gary Fox. You're getting Go Goat as well. Ooh, and Terry's now down on one stock. Can Terry get two sh uh, cheap shots out, maybe? I don't know. And the thing is, once you have, like, assists out helping you out, you, like, they'll do all the fighting for you where you can get, like, more assist and help. That's normally the game plan for, uh, when the assist rule is on. Oh, and now we can't see a thing. Thanks, Majora's Mask. Max. Ma ma okay, I'm just gonna shout from that point. And Terry has lost the match. How unfortunate, Terry, but... You know, you'd put up a good fight. You did get a c interesting uh, KO, though. That, that'll say, I will say that. But, you know, there are other chances, so don't you threat. And Byleth, being the brand new comer into this series, he makes it on to the next round. So, so far we have Joker, Hero, and Byleth making it through. And now we have a very interesting match here. We have two characters that are similar in a kind of certain way. We have Cuphead going up against Sans. So we'll see how this one goes. So Cuphead is a new addition once again. We literally just found him on the streets. And he was like, you know, I, I want to I wanna compete. So, you know, we're, we're letting him. And he said he, want, he wants to play against the big boys. So we said, hey, why not Sans? Sans is pretty powerful. Hell, he made it pretty far in uh, Season 3. In, like, in fact, he was the one who beat Hero as well. He beat Hero, he beat me, and I think that was it. Because I believe after that, I think Dark Pikachu beat him afterwards, but still. Oh! That was his sister's trophy too, I believe. Okay, Cuphead's still in the mix. We'll see if Cuphead can, uh, do better than... Oh, and the assist trophy's just gone. Oh, there goes the assist trophy, or the, uh, Pokeball. You gotta bring in your Pokemon here in these Pokemon stadiums. Ooh, and a Smash Ball is in effect. Now, I believe Cuphead mentioned that he has one of the same, uh, Final Smashes as Sans and some of the other characters, like Nugget and, uh, Ancient 69, but, you know... That's fine. We don't we don't have really copyright stuff here too much, unless YouTube says. Oh, getting oh. Is he gonna use it right away? Yes, he is. Oh, that was the bad timing. Bad timing. That would have been a stock, but nope. Okay, firing the laser. Oh. Mimikyu. If Sans gets caught by Mimikyu, it's, uh, oh, another mind. He already got blasted away. <coughs> Don't mind me. Just have a bit of... My throat's all scrambled. And now Cuphead is now down a stock as well. Both characters are pretty even right now. Cuphead getting the assist trophy, getting a pretty good help and assist right now. And a Pokeball getting Suicune. And Isaac, oh my god, not looking so well for Sans right now. Angen Lunala, Cuphead is grabbing all the... Oh, wait, I thought it was... Is it Cuphead's? No, it, yeah, it is. Okay, that's what I thought. Oh, and Sans is now done on one stock. Cuphead has the Master Ball, what's he doing? Sagaleo! I think that really helped Joker out in his last match. Oh, getting the bird head. And he's still not grabbing the uh, assist trophy, Cuphead. <laughs> oh, and as he summons the Black Knight, Sans is just out of the match by two stocks as well. 
Have we ever... Did we even have a close game yet? I don't think we've had... I think the only close game we've pretty much had was... No, wait. No, Joker won with two stocks. Um, yeah, no, I don't think we've had a close game yet. But, you know, Cuphead making it through his hands. Looks like you're going to have to enter another tournament, buddy. Sorry to say. Which serves you right for killing Waluigi. Alright, so now we have Joker going up against Hero. Can Joker face off against a very powerful being? Because Hero is pretty strong in my cases. I feel like he's strong. But, you know, Joker has done some training. And we'll see how uh, this stage affects them both, especially with all the assists. Hero getting the first move right now. But we'll see. I mean, Joker pretty much did have a disappointing start, but, uh, you know, did get a bit better during the match. So we'll see how this match goes on between the two. And he's getting some pretty good combos right now. And Hero's the first to grab an assist trophy, and it's Hammer Bro as well. I'd say Hammer Bro is a pretty uh, interesting, a pretty good uh, assist trophy. And Hero is getting Shadow the Hedgehog now. Uh oh. As the lava's coming in, and Gardevoir coming around too. Ooh, and that's a stock loss for Joker. Joker trying to shoot Hero right now. And Joker finally grabbing an assist trophy. Grabbing Akira, I think he is. Oh, and that's a stock loss for Hero. I think Hero might have gotten hit by the... Uh... Oh, he even got Spupa. Oh, beware. Beware, beware. Beware is the one for, for uh, Hero. And, jeez, that just KO'd him. The other assist trophies might want to help uh, Joker out here, especially Alucard right now. If Joker has any chance of winning. Oh, but the Smash Ball might help. Ah. There's the Smash Ball again. Uh oh. Not looking good for Joker right now. Joker needs a smash ball. But he's going for the uh Uh-oh. Oh and hero or Joker survives. Oh, this might be the end right here for Hero. Getting some pretty good help. Hero's still trying to hang in there. Oh no, Joker, what are you doing? Uh oh. That might be bad for Joker. Oh, and, and! It's Joker who wins the match. Joker with this, like, surprising victories here. He's definitely been doing some training. After that transformation, he's definitely done some training. For sure. So Joker making it into finals. He's made the finals before, but he's never still won a match. But he's gonna face one of our two newest competitors. It's either gonna be Byleth or Cuphead. Let's see who makes it through. And yeah, during that last match, it looked like it looked like both of them were about to be finished right there. The claw was just a bit quicker, I think Hero probably would have taken the match. But we'll see what Cuphead and Byleth have to offer for each other during this match. Oh, Cuphead getting Zoroark. Getting some pretty good damage to start off. Ooh, Cuphead trying to help out with some damage right there. Ow. Cuphead, what are you doing? I have some concerns on why you didn't grab the assist trophy. Grab that one. There you go. And the fly trap. And Violet's down a stock now. 
But still, Byleth can still make a comeback. Oh, I wouldn't stand right there, Cuphead. Oh, wait, hold on a second. What's going on? I don't know. Oh, if Cuphead might have played that right. Oh, that was a nice parry. That almost broke his shield. This final smash could be the decider here. Oh, that's not good for Cuphead. Oh, jeez, and he goes to... Okay, never mind. I was about to say, if he went to 20, I think that was uh, game right there. Nope, but still living just a little bit. Uh-oh. Yeah, see? Violet's coming back around. He's got Dylan. And the bird head. Oh, uh, boy. Uh-oh. Not looking good for Cuphead. Not looking good. Oh, getting a secutor. What? Are, what is he doing? Well, okay. <laughs> There's a wall. They both don't know what to do with the wall. Oh! Oh! Oh, and there's this, this trophy. Oh, wow. They, I think Violet got the better assist trophy right there. Alright, both of them are on one stock, but I think with the better assist trophies right now. Oh, I don't even know who grabbed Oshawott. Okay. And I think that's for Byleth as well. Ooh. Okay. It's getting close. Either one could win this match. And that is it. Cuphead makes it to the next round. To the final match. Ooh. Either way, we're getting someone new for the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament, the final tournament of Season 4. Alrighty. So our last match is the newly evolved Joker going up against Cuphead. Who... Who will win this match? Joker, after his long, hard training, or someone brand new to the series, we will have to wait and see. Okay. Nice use for the grapple. Oh, and he just took that. Oh, that is very handy for Joker right now. If, it can, if he can land his punches. Ooh, pretty good one for Cuphead too, I have to say. Ball. And again, beware. Oh, that's not good for Cuphead. Getting rid of Cuphead's assist trophy, too. And Cuphead down to two stocks as well? I mean, I think he still got Finnegan, though. Cuphead did. Uh oh. Not looking good for Joker right now. Most of the ones on the field are for. Uh oh, that's a very bad spot for Joker. Do not want to be right underneath Metagross. Ooh, this Final Smash can also change uh, the fate. Oh, and it's Cuphead's! Can he turn this around? Grab a Dylan, too. Joker down to two stocks now. Yep, right there. Hi, I'm back. Sorry, we had to pause the match for a second because I had to grab dinner. If you, I don't know if I'm going to leave the one part where... The dinner part is, but let's just get back to the match. Alright, so, um, we'll see what happens next. So right now Cuphead does have Final Smash, but it's now gone. Oh, and knocked him right out before. Oh, and Joker now has it. This might give him the match. Joker might have won. Oh, not yet, but still, at least it wasn't in Cuphead's hands. And right now, this is really looking like Joker's game. 
Joker might be able to finally win his first tournament after his transformation. I mean, I knew he was strong after facing me, but man. Ooh, getting an assist trophy to help him out one last time. He's like a whole stock ahead. This is so good, I have to take a bite of pizza. Ooh, is this it? And that's it! Joker winning by two stocks. I don't even have my camera on ready yet. Uh, I am a professional gamer right now. And like that, wow. Sorry, just trying to get my camera ready. Okay. Uh, and with that, we have our first winner. And with that, Joker being our first winner of Season 4, surprisingly, the one who's had the most lo losses in all of history of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament, finally wins his first tournament, and it's the first tournament of Season 4. Like, I knew he was strong, I knew, I, I just knew that he would be strong enough to actually win a tournament this season. I didn't think he'd be right away, but I knew he'd be strong after he had his match with me, and I, I just, I just sensed it in him. I sensed it that he can be this powerful. And with that, our first spot in the 32 final tournament of season four, the first spot is taken by Joker. So that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see who the rest will enter later. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, press like button or subscribe, do whatever. And I will see all you dudes in the next tournament. See you guys next time.